Over the last 20 years, I've uh, been looking at the intersection between te reo Māori, uh, present tikanga Māori, and also building data um, repositories. Um, started back about, I suppose, looking at how, uh, what processes and protocols can be uh, put in place to enable us to interact, access, and share our mātauranga with different generations, well, what's the processes involved in having digital copies of those and also thinking about how we connect and reconnect um, our very dispersed Fano to their own mātauranga to uh, mātauranga iwi, mātauranga a hapu. Kaupapa like in DigiData, uh, thinking about Indigenous data sovereignty um, it allows um, for Tanga to happen, uh, but also enables, I suppose, them to to develop a network of, um, I suppose, thought leaders um, in this developing space. So that's critical that we bring or I suppose support these initiatives, in particular when you know AI, um, VR is becoming more and more present in our everyday lives. So the mahi I'm talking mostly about here is my mahi I do with Te Kahurarunga and it's around, uh, I'm in the digital team there so um, my work there is really around helping build capacity and building uh, Māori or mana Māori motaki uh, data infrastructure and so all kind of leading on from the Māori data governance uh, models and the Māori data sovereignty principles. So one of the major um, things in, in the whole movement towards Māori data sovereignty is building capacity and, and capability. And so digital data falls like squarely in that field. If we're not bringing others through, then when we're not here, who's going to take over the work at? And so a lot of these younger ones are already ahead of us, ahead of where I was at their age. And so um, these kind of were chances to share knowledge, have conversations, and, and also I find it expands my thinking. DigiData is a really good, valuable tool in that, growing that capability and capacity, and then just reinforcing and re remaking connections. Cool, yeah, well, uh, so Nessie, we run, you know, I guess we're known for high-performance computing, so we run big computing platforms, which we add sort of layers of software and tools on top of for researchers across the country. It's, it's really interesting to see Rangatahi and and different communities coming here trying to understand how would they make sense of data for their own iwi, for their own hapu, looking after their whenua, um, or for their own career paths as we think about the career development into the digital sector and into research for our rangatahi as well. So it's a really fascinating place to be. This year there's a lot more people that are hands-on I would say. And we, we saw that in the natural language processing workshop where everyone was in there you know, doing their code and, and looking at the data and, and really sort of understanding what was going on. So yeah, it's, you could sort of see this sort of emerging confidence and skill level coming in, which is just awesome. I, I think there's, there's got to be a, a place for the sort of connection between the sort of skills that we know are just taking over you know, most research software skills, computational skills, data skills, and being able to do that in a way that really addresses the, the very unique challenges that sit within our environment, within our health system, within our people, in a New Zealand Aotearoa context. I can see Indigidata really being a, a, a place that the community comes together around those unique challenges and, and really builds up that confidence and that capacity to, to answer those challenging questions. Yeah.